Hey, this is Saka from 1OK Rock. I'm hanging on with Rob and Front Row Live. I like um, how Eye of the Storm is something different. It's a new challenge yeah, for it's you. It's totally different, though. But, um, you know, um, we, we've been doing this band almost like 13 years old. Man. We did a lot of, like, uh, musically stuff. And then also, you know, um, the rock band is super hard to, like, um, concert and making music right now you yeah. know what I mean like rock scene is it's kind of a little dead right now yeah so that's why we love rock music we we are still rock band so that's why I want to try to like you know the band is open the door one more time right. on the music scene so um yeah I'm, I'm you know I, I'm really excited about um, the release this new album yeah you no know, so um yeah that's this is great things for me now I love that you worked with Pooh Bear Yes. Um, especially, you worked with Pooh Bear on my favorite track, Head High, mm -hmm. Head High, and you know, tell me about working with Pooh Bear. How was that? It was like you know, uh, my friend Jamil, mm -hmm. he he and uh, uh, his friends introduced me to Pooh Bear. Okay. And in the studio, she suddenly comes in the studio like he said, like a happy birthday, you know, like <laughs> he's a very happy guy. Yeah. And uh, I I was getting nervous actually because you know like he's he did he's a, a like deal. a lot of like you know huge artists yeah. he did it produced so um, I was kind of nervous but um, you know his recording style is pretty like weird to me because mm. I was singing on the like just just a vocal thing like a, just a vocal okay. not tracks no tracks oh, no wow. track just a vocal and then singing and singing and wow. singing and he's gonna pick it up you know my words and then you know put on the tracks and that's it wow that's different yeah it's very different but um it was super good experience for me yeah so i mean how obviously that was difficult but how did you kind of get used to that as you were creating the song i don't know just just <laughs> just singing you know like but he's definitely 100 percent genius producer though yeah. yeah now on this track specifically you also had ethan uh thompson mm -hmm. uh co-writing right yeah what's it like writing with him because i i've heard his stuff but i like i've never heard anyone talk about that experience with him right you know like this time we had a lot of like co-producers mm. on this album so um you know, this is very natural things like on um, our liberals favorite by ramens. They they are, uh, uh, you know, uh, introduced me uh, a lot of like producers and the producers. Yeah. So sometimes like uh, lyricers and melody makers. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, this is just, you know, it's happened. Right. Now, one track that stuck out to me was uh, Grow Old, Die Young, yeah. because you mentioned um, sex in it. And I feel like that is something that doesn't get talked about in um, Japanese culture right yeah is that something like hard to talk about it's not really but um you know i was working with a lot of like producers you know mm. and i we had a good conversation but it's it's harder to explain in english and yeah. and in, in japanese you know right. japanese culture explained to the americans is sometimes like it doesn't work mm. but um yeah i love the songs too and um maybe we need a more like practice about the songs you yeah. know what I mean like because I, I can't like explain in English right now no, I get that I get that completely now yeah. what was the biggest challenge in creating this album it's like almost everything <laughs> you know like I've never done before kind of like this situation and kind of like this recording style yeah because can you imagine like when you go into the studio like I've never met before producers like three and four right over there and then nice to meet you, you know, like yeah. introduced by myself and then, all right, let's 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 make a music. <laughs> okay, let's do it. It's hard, you know? Yeah. So, but um, this is a good experience too. So, um, um, yeah, I want to, I want to um, try more another like kind of recording style too. Mm. But um, this is a good step up for me. Now, I noticed that you kind of uh, got vulnerable on this album. You kind of... Uh, you kind of got deeper into your emotions with mm -hmm. like relationship. Mm -hmm. um, how hard was that for you to do that? I think it's if if you know like two years ago, mm. maybe I couldn't. Yeah. Because my English is not like you know, I can understand, but I couldn't like you know, comes up and yeah. say exp explain. But now is getting used to it, and then also like I'm totally like understanding. You know the producers' wars, mm. like musically wars. Right. So it's hard, still hard, but um, 
I'm getting used to it. It's hard, <laughs> but it's hard. Now, as far as the music goes, um, it's a lot of different sounds yeah. on this album. Um, how involved was the band as far as like the instrumentation? Um, actually, you know, the, these members, the other members, like, come, come in the very ending mm -hmm. and then come to the studio and they heard the music and then play it. So it's totally different, like... Um, than, than usual, yeah. yeah. But normally, like, me and the producers make the melodies, chords, mm. and rhythm, mm -hmm. and then build up. That's it. Okay, okay. Now, with uh, Head High, you uh, you had a lot of falsettos. You had a lot of high ranges. Yeah. Um, your voice is getting a lot better. Like, I'm used to hearing you screaming more than singing, and now you're singing a lot more. And how did you get used to being able to just sing those high notes so e it looked easy <laughs> it's not easy <laughs> it looked easy <laughs> but you were on your phone when you were doing sound check like right. how do you do that because you know my parents is a voice as a singer you know that right yeah yeah um my mother is like pretty high tone voice mm. she had and my father is like very uh like more um baritone great like on okay. um, husky boys yeah yeah so my voices are like kind of mixed voices mm. You know, from my mother, from my father. Right. So it's not easy when I'm using high tone voice, but um, my voice is basically is like high tone already. Yeah. So like my, you know, when I when I talking like this, it's kind of a little high already, mm. already right? So um, it's not like you know easy, but I I think it's I I know already how to like sing in like using like the high tone notes right that maybe that's it and then this time the eye of the storm album just you know my my mind is my open mind uh, mind yeah. and that's it they're just singing i think it's that's it man you make it look easy like i was trying to do that in the car and oh, it's like it doesn't i have to try <laughs> especially on the lives you know <laughs> yeah i don't i totally get that now speaking of live in japan you did an orchestra concert yes I watched it, but I want to be there. <laughs> Can you do it in LA? Sure. Uh, I I don't know. Like it's harder too. But um, yeah, some days I wanna, like you know, doing concert with orchestra in yeah. LA. That'll be awesome. That was though. amazing. That'll be amazing. Definitely. Yeah. Now, congratulations, Ed Sheeran is taking you on tour. Yes. Um, what can we expect for that tour? I don't know. Like you know. Collaboration with Ed Sheeran, right? Maybe. <laughs> I hope so. But um, I don't know yet. But you know, he's a uh, really good friends actually oh, cool. um it's almost like three four years ago nice um you know get start conversation with him um actually i didn't know that you're kind of a you're kind of a big deal man yeah it's crazy right <laughs> no you're kind of a big deal yeah me yeah you yeah you're big time big time really really because <laughs> i'm yeah because you know like it's crazy it is sheeran yeah Trolling with him. That's going to be amazing. And I feel like this record is perfect for it. Um, it's the perfect kind of uh, perfect way to, perfect timing and perfect way to bring his audience to 1 OK Rock. Yes. Because, you know, his twirling is like, like every place is like huge places, yeah. you know. We're going to twirling in Asia with Ed Sheeran, but um, I'm pretty excited. Yeah. Now, next week on the 19th, you kick off the U.S. tour. You're taking out water parks and you're taking out my friends in Stan Atlantic. Um, Tell me a little bit about Stan Atlantic and why did you want to take them out on this tour? Um, I don't know. Like when I saw first time on YouTube, mm -hmm. um, they're like you know something like like special. I feel because mm -hmm. I like you know um, I don't like they're from Australia, right? Yeah. So I love Australia actually. Yeah. And you know like five seconds of summer is there from Australia right. and Sia. And I just want to pick it up like another country, like musician. Mm -hmm. So in my management, like they say, like you know, if you if you inter interesting, like you know, if you think interesting this band, mm -hmm. you can pick it up. So yeah, hundred percent, like you know. That's amazing. Cause you, um, this is this is great things. Like you know, in U.S. trolling. Like one okay rock whiz, like yeah. Australian band and American band yeah. mixed together. That's a good little match. Different vibes and in different cultures like mm. mixed together. It, it's gonna be fun. Right. 
I agree with that. Yeah. I agree with that. Now, here's a question. I was just with Mike uh, Shinoda a couple weeks ago again, and uh, I hear there's rumors you guys are doing stuff. I could, I, uh, uh, apparently, apparently, apparently I connected Linkin yes. Park and One Ok Rock. Thank you so much. I, dude, okay. that was like, I've been wanting to see that collaboration. So every time I'm with Mike Shinoda, I'm like, dude, I'm so glad you're with this guy and One Ok Rock. But, I know, but what's going on? I, I saw your interview <laughs> with Linkin Park. You said like, do you know One Ok Rock? And he said, I'm um, sorry, I don't know. But after that, you know, we made it a music together yeah. we did a like you know um you know same festival on the same stage right but just this passed away so it was that that thing is it's so sad to it me still hurts, man. yeah but you know um thank you by the way of course man i got you i told you i believe in you 133 yeah. percent so i'm gonna do whatever it takes but uh <laughs> but what's going on with mike i know you're working on something with him uh, I'm still working on actually yeah. um, on this album. You know, we're not gonna using you know songs right. with Mike Shinoda, but I'm still working on it with him. Some days, maybe that song just comes out. Yeah, you guys are best friends now. Yeah, from what I hear. Yeah, he's <laughs> great. He's very smart. Yeah, he is. He's all the time like thinking about like music yeah. and culture. You know, he have a um, Japanese vibes and also Japanese blood too. Right. So I feel like something like same like vibes, yeah. you know, so that's why I, I like him. That's amazing, man. Well, congratulations with everything that's going on. Uh, congratulations with Eye of the Storm. Thank I you. love the new sound. Thank you. you guys be sure to check out Eye of the Storm if you haven't already. 1OK Rock is going on tour February 19th, U.S. tour with Water Parks and Stan Atlantic. And uh, I'm going to tell you one more time, man, you got to do the orchestra concert in L.A. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I I can't say right now, but um, I hopefully. All right, we're gonna work on it.